Well, back in June, we spoke to one Rhode Island mom looking to enroll her daughter in kindergarten. But when she asked the school if its curriculum included lessons on gender theory or anti-racism, the school committee almost sued to stop her. Now, nearly two months later, that mom is being told it will cost her $74,000 if she wants to get the answers she's looking for about the school she wants to enroll her kid in. Nicole Solis joins me now, along with her lawyer, director of national litigation at the Goldwater Institute, John Riches. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Nicole, first of all, thank you for coming back, for updating us on this story. So the premise is quite simple here. You want to know what theories and curriculum are being taught to your child. The school is saying, not only can't you, but you've got to fight us for it. Now it's going to cost you. Exactly. And, you know, at any point, the school can just decide to be transparent. They can send out an email to the whole community saying this is exactly what we're doing with critical race theory and gender theory. This is how we integrate these values into the classroom. They're perfectly capable of doing the right thing at any point, but instead they're constraining me to this very formal legal process. They're telling me that I have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars to get these answers. And it really raises the important question of, is public information really public when it Mm. costs $75,000 to access? John, help me here. If it is a public school, we're paying for it. We should have access to what's being taught. Uh, Yet, why would a parent have to pay $75,000? What are you helping with here? Whitney, no, you're exactly right. And and look, open and transparent government shouldn't be a controversial thing. Um, You know, the school (laughs) board here, rather than answer a parent's questions about what they're teaching her child, they're trying to put up roadblocks instead of being open and transparent. They're trying to avoid a parent's questions. But look, under the public records law, the presumption is that this information is public. Um, They have to charge only reasonable fees. This is clearly not reasonable. Um, So we're going to find ways to get these records. But frankly, it shouldn't be this difficult. Nicole, usually if you have nothing to hide, you don't hide it. So is your suspicion that they do have something to hide on gender theory or critical race theory? Yes. Because, again, they can, they can just answer my question. I initially started out this process by just asking them. I emailed many people um, in my school district mm-hmm. asking what they're doing. And instead of just directly answering me, they said to use the Public Records Act, which now I understand is really a way to evade my questions and not answer them in good faith. So it's really disappointing. I understand now why a lot of parents don't engage my school district because it's very expensive to do so. And you just end up being ignored, bullied and evaded. Absolutely. John Rich, John Rich is real quick. What recourse? What's your next step to get these answers? So look at public records laws. You can compel production. You can uh, go to the attorney general. You can go to court. Um, Nicole's going to get this information. She's standing up. She's not going to be intimidated. And uh, we're going to the public's going to learn what this school's teaching. Well, Nicole and John, thank you for what you're doing. Bring it back to us when you find out what they are teaching. We want to continue on this story. Thank you both. God bless you. Thank, thank you. you. By the way, we reached out to the South Kingston School District for a statement. And just like they did to Rachel, they have declined to comment.